Vasily Wasilyevich Leontief Russian, Vasilij Vasilyevich Leontief August 5, 1905 to February 5, 1999, was a Russian-American economist known for his research on input-output analysis and how changes in one economic sector may affect other sectors. Leontief won the Nobel Committee's Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences in 1973, and four of his doctoral students have also been awarded the prize Paul Samuelson 1970, Robert Solow 1987, Vernon L. Smith 2002, Thomas Schelling 2005. Topic Biography Topic Early Life Vasily Leontief was born on August 5, 1906, in Munich, Germany, the son of Vasily W. Leontief, Professor of Economics and Zelada, German spelling Slada, later Evgenia Leontief Nebecker. W. Leontief Sr., belonged to a family of old believer merchants living in St. Petersburg since 1741. Jenya Becker belonged to a wealthy Jewish family from Odessa. At 15 in 1921, Vasily Jr., entered University of Leningrad in present-day St. Petersburg. He earned his learned economist degree equivalent to Master of Arts in 1925 at the age of 19. <laughs> Opposition in USSR Leontief sided with campaigners for academic autonomy, freedom of speech and in support of Pitarim Sorokin. As a consequence, he was detained several times by the Cheka. In 1925, he was allowed to leave the USSR, mostly because the Cheka believed that he was mortally ill with a sarcoma, a diagnosis that later proved false. He continued his studies at the Frederick William University and, in 1928 earned a Ph.D. degree in economics under the direction of Werner Sombart, writing his dissertation on the economy as circular flow original German title, Die Wirtschaft als Kreislauf. <laughs> Early professional life From 1927 to 1930, he worked at the Institute for the World Economy of the University of Kiel. There he researched the derivation of statistical demand and supply curves. In 1929, he traveled to China to assist its Ministry of Railroads as an advisor. In 1931, he went to the United States and was employed by the National Bureau of Economic Research. During World War II, Leontief served as consultant at the U.S. Office of Strategic Services. <laughs> <laughs> Affiliation with Harvard Leontief joined Harvard University's Department of Economics in 1932 and in 1946 became professor of economics there. In 1949, Leontief used an early computer at Harvard and data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics to divide the U.S. economy into 500 sectors. Leontief modeled each sector with a linear equation based on the data and used the computer, the Harvard Mark II, to solve the system, one of the first significant uses of computers for mathematical modeling, along with George W. Snedekor's usage of the Atanasoff Berry computer. Leontief set up the Harvard Economic Research Project in 1948 and remained its director until 1973. Starting in 1965, he chaired the Harvard Society of Fellows. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Affiliation with New York University. In 1975, Leontief joined New York University and founded and directed the Institute for Economic Analysis. He taught graduate and undergraduate classes. Topic: <inaudible> Personal. In 1932, Leontief married poet Estelle Marx. Their only child, Svetlana Leontief Alpers, was born in 1936. Leontief's wife Estelle wrote a memoir, Genia and Vasily, of their relations with his parents after they came to the U.S. as emigres. As hobbies Leontief enjoyed fly fishing, ballet, and fine wines. He vacationed for years at his farm in West Burke, Vermont, but after moving to New York in the 1970s moved his summer residence to Lakeville, Connecticut. Leontief died in New York City on Friday, February 5, 1999 at the age of 93. His wife died in 2005. Topic. Major contributions Leontief is credited with developing early contributions to input-output analysis and earned the Nobel Prize in Economics for his development of its associated theory. He has also made contributions in other areas of economics, such as international trade where he documented the Leontief paradox. 
He was also one of the first to establish the composite commodity theorem. Leontief earned the Nobel Prize in Economics for his work on input-output tables. Input-output tables analyze the process by which inputs from one industry produce outputs for consumption or for inputs for another industry. With the input-output table, one can estimate the change in demand for inputs resulting from a change in production of the final good. The analysis assumes that input proportions are fixed, thus the use of input-output analysis is limited to rough approximations rather than prediction. Input output was novel and inspired large scale empirical work. In 2010, its iterative method was recognized as an early intellectual precursor to Google's PageRank. Leontief used input output analysis to study the characteristics of trade flow between the U.S. and other countries, and found what has been named Leontief's paradox. This country resorts to foreign trade in order to economize its capital and dispose of its surplus labor, rather than vice versa, i.e., U.S. exports were relatively labor intensive when compared to U.S. imports. This is the opposite of what one would expect, considering the fact that the U.S.'s comparative advantage was in capital-intensive goods. According to some economists, this paradox has since been explained as due to the fact that when a country produces more than two goods, the abundance of capital relative to labor does not imply that the capital intensity of its exports should exceed that of imports. Leontief was also a very strong proponent of the use of quantitative data in the study of economics. Throughout his life Leontief campaigned against theoretical assumptions and non-observed facts." According to Leontief, too many economists were reluctant to "...get their hands dirty," by working with raw empirical facts. To that end, Vasily Leontief did much to make quantitative data more accessible, and more indispensable, to the study of economics. <laughs> Publications 1925 Balance Narodnogo Hozist Veres Balance Narodnogo Kozieistva SSSR. In Planovo Kozieistvo, translated into Italian in Spolba N. ed. as Il Balancio dell'Economia Nazionale dell'Us. In La Strategia Sovietica per Svilupo Economico 1924-1930, Giulio Einaudi ed. Torino discussing the Soviet balance of the national economy. 1923-4. 1928, Die Wirtschaft als Kreislauf, Tübingen, Moore, republished as The Economy as a Circular Flow, pp. 181–212 in, Structural Change and Economic Dynamics, Volume 2 Issue 1, June 1991, this translation is abridged to avoid controversial statements. Vasily W. Leontief August 1936, Quantitative Input and Output Relations in the Economic System of the United States. Review of Economics and Statistics. 18 105–125. JSTOR 1927837. Vasily W. Leontief August 1937. Interrelation of Prices, Output, Savings and Investment, A Study in Empirical Application of Economic Theory of General Interdependence. Review of Economics and Statistics. 19 109–132. JSTOR 1927343. 1941, Structure of the American Economy, 1919 1929. 1953, Studies in the Structure of the American Economy. 1966, Input Output Economics. 1966, Essays in Economics. Vasily W. Leontief. August 1967. An Alternative to Aggregation in Input Output Analysis and National Accounts. Review of Economics and Statistics. 49 412–419. JSTOR 1926651. Vasily W. Leontief August 1970. Environmental Repercussions and the Economic Structure, an Input-Output Approach. Review of Economics and Statistics. 52–262–271. JSTOR 1926294. Vasily W. Leontief. The Dynamic Inverse. In A.P. Carter and A. Brody. Contributions to Input Output Analysis, Proc. 4th Int. CONF, on Input Output Techniques. 1. North Holland Publishing Company. pp. 17 46. 1977, Essays in Economics. 2. 1977, The Future of the World Economy. 1983, Military Spending, Facts and Figures, Worldwide Implications and Future Outlook co-authed with F. Duchin 1983, The Future of Non-Fuel Minerals in the U.S. and World Economy co-authed with J. Ku, S. Nazar and I. Sohn 1986, The Future Impact of Automation on Workers co-authored with F. Duchin Vasily W. Leontief 1986. 
Input Output Economics, Second Ed. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780195035278. Topic: Education. Awards 1953 – Order of the Cherubim, University of Pisa 1962 – Dr. Honoris Causa, University of Brussels 1967 – Doctor of the University, University of York 1968 – Officer of the French Legion d'honneur 1970 – Bernhard Harms Prize Economics, West Germany 1971 – Dr. Honoris Causa, University of Louvain 1972, Dr. Honoris Causa, University of Paris, Sorbonne. 1973, Bank of Sweden Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, aka Nobel Prize in Economics. 1976, Dr. Honoris Causa, University of Pennsylvania. 1980, Dr. Honoris Causa, University of Toulouse, France. 1980, Dr. Honoris Causa, University of Louisville, Kentucky. 1980, Doctor of Social Sciences, University of Vermont 1980, Doctor of Laws, C.W. Post Center, Long Island University 1980, Russian American Hall of Fame 1981, Karl Marx University, Budapest, Hungary 1984, Order of the Rising Sun, Japan 1985, Commander, French Order of Arts and Letters 1988, Dr. Honoris Causa, Adelphi College 1988, Foreign Member, USSR Academy of Sciences 1989, Society of the Optimate, Italian Cultural Institute, New York 1990, Dr. Honoris Causa, University of Córdoba, Spain 1991, Takemi Memorial Award, Institute of Season and Life Sciences, Japan 1995, Harry Edmonds Award for Life Achievement, International House, New York 1995, Dr. Honoris Causa, Humboldt University, Berlin, Germany Award of Excellence, the International Center in New York. In honor The Global Development and Environment Institute at Tufts University awards the Leontief Prize in Economics each year in his honor. Leontief is listed in the Russian American Chamber of Fame of Congress of Russian Americans, which is dedicated to Russian immigrants who made outstanding contributions to American science or culture. Topic memberships 1954, President of the Econometric Society 1968, Corresponding Member of the Institut de France 1970, President of the American Economic Association 1970, Corresponding Fellow of the British Academy 1974, U.S. USSR Commission on the Social Sciences and Humanities of the International Research and Exchanges Board 1975, American Committee on East-West Accord 1975, Academia Nazionale Dei Lynchi, Italy 1976, President and Section F of the British Association for the Advancement of Science 1976, Honorary Member of the Royal Irish Academy 1977, Fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science 1978, Commissioned to Study the Organization of Peace 1978-1986, Board of Trustees of North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics 1979, Century Club 1979, Issues Committee of the Progressive Alliance 1980, Committee for National Security 1981, Board of Visitors, College of Liberal Arts, Boston University 1981, Board of Editors, Journal of Business Strategy 1982, International Advisory Council of the Delian Institute of International Relations 1982, Academia Mediterranea del Cienza, Italy 1983, Board of Advisors, Environmental Fund 1983, Board of Directors, Tolstoy Foundation 1985, International Committee, Carnegie Mellon University 1990, Academy of Creative Endeavors, USSR 1992, International Charitable Foundation, Russia 1993, Academy Europe 1993, Honorary President of the World Academy for the Progress of Planning Science, Italy 1993, Member of the Academy Universal des Cultures, France 1994, Fellow of the New York Academy of Sciences 1995, Member of the International Leadership Center on Longevity and Society, Mount Sinai Hospital American Philosophical Society American Academy of Arts and Sciences International Statistical Institute Honorary Member of the Japan Economic Research Center, Tokyo Honorary Fellow of the Royal Statistical Society, London Trustee of Economists for Peace and Security Topic. Quotes Much of current academic teaching and research has been criticized for its lack of relevance, that is, of immediate practical impact. The trouble is caused, however, not by an inadequate selection of targets, but rather by our inability to hit squarely on them by the palpable inadequacy of the scientific means with which they try to solve them. 
The weak and all too slowly growing empirical foundations clearly cannot support the proliferating superstructure of pure, or should I say, speculative economic theory. By the time it comes to interpretations of the substantive conclusions, the assumptions on which the model has been based are easily forgotten. But it is precisely the empirical validity of these assumptions on which the usefulness of the entire exercise depends. A natural Darwinian feedback operating through selection of academic personnel contributes greatly to the perpetuation of this state of affairs. The role of humans as the most important factor of production is bound to diminish in the same way that the role of horses in agricultural production was first diminished and then eliminated by the introduction of tractors. See also List of economists List of Jewish Nobel laureates References and sources Topic. External links Autobiography Information from www.eoa.org Article by James K. Galbraith Interview with W. Leontief by S. A. Kalyadina in Russian Ideas, Repek Appearances on C-SPAN <laughs>